I just got my brand new HJC IS Max 2 helmet in from RevZilla.com and we're going to unbox it, we're going to talk about it, and I'm going to try it out. And that's what's coming up now on Cruise Man's Garage. I've been wearing uh, HJC helmets for probably six or seven years now, maybe even more. And I'm currently using a Cymax 3 helmet. Before that, I had a Cymax 2. And I've just always been a big fan of HJC helmets. They seem to fit me better than a lot of the other helmets. Uh, they seem to provide good protection. I like the integrated sunshades. And I like a modular helmet. So um, when it came time to look for a new helmet, um, I was talking to some friends the other day, and uh, Chris Caliente, who has another YouTube channel, a uh, great motor vlogger, said that he has three of these IS Max 2s, so he loves them. So I thought, well, I'll give it a try. I've been happy with HJC. I think this is a little bit like a step below the Cymax 3, but they don't make a Cymax helmet anymore. So I'm going to give it a try, and let's open it up and see what's inside. First of all, this box came inside of another box, so it was really well packed when it arrived. I ordered this from Revzilla. It's the first time I've ordered from Revzilla, but I thought I'd give them a try, see what it's like. Good experience, good price, good delivery. The helmet is in a helmet bag. Get it out here. I'll probably never use this helmet bag again. I'm just not, I don't usually use these things. But they're nice to have. It's a, it's a nice bag. As you can see, this helmet's pretty beat up. I've been using this Cymax 3 for probably three years now. I have to go back and look and see when I posted the video review of it. But uh, it's pretty scratched up, and of course with the new Goldwing, it barely fits in the trunk. It's going to be interesting to see how this fits in the trunk of the uh, 2018 Goldwing. And let's just take a look at this helmet and see you know, what it looks like compared to the Cymax 3. Okay, first of all, I like the pure white. Even though I've got a pearl white uh, gold wing, uh, I like the pure white. I prefer white helmets because I think they're the most visible, visible helmets uh, when you're out riding. It's easy to see a white helmet. Uh, my very first helmet when I started riding again in 2005 was black and uh, just not a good idea. So I like the white because it's more visible. Um, so let's just take a look at some of these features. This is the first time I've seen this helmet. Uh, it's got the same type of uh, flip-up shield here, which you can do with one hand, which is nice. I like that. And it's got a very similar mechanism for lowering the shade. It's got like a little slider back here, and it has, it looks like three different settings where you can go all the way down or just a couple of different, maybe two or three settings there, which I like. Now the uh, adjustment or tightening screws for the modular face shield or flip-up helmet, the flip-up shield, this part here, is not covered up. It was covered up with a couple of plastic pieces on the Cymax. Here it's just out in the open, which is actually better because it's easier to adjust. Sometimes these things get loose. I've noticed it on the Cymax helmets. I'm not sure if the other brands do the same thing. But these things get loose where they actually start falling down. They just slide down. And you have to tighten these screws to uh, keep them from sliding down, especially when I mount my GoPro camera up here with that extra weight. I have to tighten them down. So it's got a, um, a little vent here on the chin, which is nice and much easier, I think, to operate than the Cymax 3. And it looks like there's another vent up here that has a couple of different stops on it which is nice. It's very easy to get the face shield open. And I notice it has metal, uh, little metal catches or pins for the uh, modular face shield, which I like. The interior of the helmet, this is what I'm going to use this little foam for. The interior of the helmet looks virtually identical to my Cymax 3. Uh, all of these parts that pop out, we'll take it apart a little later because I'm going to install a Cardo Pack Top Bold uh, unit on here for Bluetooth. So we'll talk about that later. But it's got all pretty much the same type of lining as my Cymax 3 head. It feels a little lighter to me. Uh, 
than the Cymax 3. So I'm anxious to put this thing on, uh, see how it feels while I'm wearing it, uh, take a short ride, and in part two, we're going to install the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. This is my first ride with my new HJC IS Max 2 helmet. And obviously, I got the uh, GoPro mounted to the chin. I'm coming from a Cymax 3, which I've been wearing for years. Before that, I wore a Cymax 2 for years. And the first thing I noticed about this helmet is it, it seems to fit very tight. And I got a large, which is what I had with the Cymax two, uh, 3. And I think it could just be that the Cymax 3 was so broken in you know, the cheek pads and all the pads were so broken in, it just felt like it fit looser. This helmet actually feels like it fits correctly. Uh, it, it, when I first put it on, it seemed like it kind of hurt my ears a little bit. Like it was so, the cheek pads or the internal padding was so tight, it kind of was pressing on my ears. But I think it's just, it's going to take about a week to break it in so that it, kind of fits the shape of my head better but I think I'm gonna like it it feels it actually seems quieter than the uh, Cymax 3 uh, the build quality it feels like it's actually built as good or better even though it was a cheaper helmet less expensive I should say a less expensive helmet uh, the, the face mask has a very firm uh, pull to it it feels very solid the uh, eye shade works well and it was very very easy to install the Bluetooth headset and I think once it's broken in, it's going to be as or more comfortable than the Cymax 3. Well, I think I'm ready now to kind of do a final review, or at least a semi-final review of this HJC IS Max 2 helmet. I've had the helmet now for a little more than a week. I've ridden with it probably seven or eight times on different rides. The longest ride may be 45 minutes. So it's not like I've been on a three or four hour ride with it yet, but I have at least had a chance to see kind of how the helmet performs uh, on a 45 minute ride. Now let me tell you what I like about the helmet and maybe even some things I don't like. I think I may have mentioned earlier that when I first tried on the helmet, the first time I rode with it, it felt very, very tight and it kind of hurt the tops of my ears like just like it didn't fit correctly for me and it's really tough when you're talking about the fit of a helmet because everybody has a different shape head for example i can't wear a nolan uh, helmet because they just don't fit my head shape correctly uh, and i was afraid that this helmet was going to be different than my cymax 3 which was very comfortable but uh, as i found out over the period of a week and many rides it seems like the interior padding and the cheek pads are breaking in a little bit so that they're not as tight as they were when I first tried them on and in fact now I would have to say it feels almost as comfortable as the Cymax 3 so I'm hopeful that this helmet will break in a little more and will become very comfortable now uh, it is a lighter helmet it feels lighter than the Cymax 3, which adds to some comfort. And I really like the mechanical workings of the helmet. The face shield lifts, lifts up very um, confidently, should I say. It's not, it doesn't feel loose or sloppy. My Cymax 3 was starting to feel a little sloppy. Also, it has metal posts for the latch mechanism, whereas this Cymax 3 is plastic which uh, I think this is going to be a more uh, secure, safe solution than maybe even the Cymax 3. Now, I like the mechanism for the sunshade. It's actually, uh, it actually is smoother and seems to work a little better than the one did on the Cymax 3. The release mechanism works very well. I have struggled finding the top vent uh, mechanism, but that's just because I'm not used to it. However, the chin vent is very easy to get to and very nice. I also like the fact that this helmet has some snaps built into the interior of the chin bar 
uh, for the addition of an optional chin curtain. So in the winter time, you could have this thing kind of protecting your neck uh, from cold air. I really like that feature. Now, I have not added the pin lock uh, visor or shield yet, but I do plan on ordering a pin lock shield for this. Um, and that basically helps uh, with anti-fog, especially in the wintertime and cold weather. Uh, it basically creates like a little dead air space in between the pin lock shield and your face shield. So I will be ordering that and I'll write a review on that later. It's really not the right time of year to test out a pin lock shield. But uh, if I get the opportunity to ride with it where I would have a fog situation, I'll certainly uh, review it for you. Um, Everything else about the helmet feels very well made. Now, I want to point something out about this HJC helmet. This is an inexpensive, I would even say almost a budget helmet. At $188, you know, it's a, it's a really affordable solution. It's not a showy. It's not an Arai helmet. You're not going to get the comfort and some of the features that you're going to get on these more expensive $600, $700, $800 helmets. It is a budget helmet, but I feel like for the money, it gives you a lot of features for the dollar. So if you're looking for a budget helmet, I think HJC is a good one to look at. I've been very happy with HJC over the last probably seven or eight years. I was wearing an Arai before that, and I loved the Arai, but it was a three-quarter helmet. It was not a modular, and I really like having a modular helmet. When you put the face shield down on this helmet, it's very quiet, much, much quieter than the Cymax 3. It feels like it's been sealed better, and it just feels like it, it just feels more solid than the Cymax 3 did. So take a look at the IS Max 2 if you're looking for a good under $200 helmet solution. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and click on that little subscribe button for more videos. And if you click on the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us today on Cruise Man's Garage.